Greetings everyone, Zed here. Uh, today I have a nice little treat. Uh, well, maybe it's just exciting for me. I don't know if this is exciting for anybody else, but we are about to get Risley to friendship level 10 in just two weeks. Count them, 14 days. We have hyper farmed for Risley just to get him to level 10 as soon as possible because he is our best boy and we love him so much. Today, I'm going to show you how you can hyper farm for your favorite character to get them to friendship level 10 as quickly as possible. Now, since I am a whale, I do own every single character in the game. You can see here I have every single character. One of my completionist goals as well is to also make sure that every character is friendship level 10 as shown here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do our daily commissions. Now, when you are playing in single player mode and you do your commissions, you have all four characters on your team, you get friendship experience by completing all four of your commissions individually, and then you get a bonus amount of friendship experience when you turn them into Catherine. When you are in co-op mode, your friendship experience actually doubles. And the reason this is, is because instead of getting friendship for four characters, you are getting a maximum of two characters. Because when you're in your co-op mode with one other player, you only have two characters on your team. So what they do is they give you double friendship experience. So the first thing we do every day, we always make sure to do all four of our daily commissions and turn in those rewards into Catherine in order to get the maximum amount of friendship experience from commissions. But we do this in co-op mode as well. So uh, I actually have a account that is a Long sword in hand. basically a friendship mule at this point. Um, I invite them into my world. They join. And then basically what we do is we just do our daily commissions as normal. Now you definitely want to make sure you have the character on your team that you want to get the friendship experience. So for right now I use Risley and Yelan. Of course I use Yelan because she can cover the most distance in the quickest amount of time. So we basically always have Yelan on our team for these commissions. <laughs> There we go. So you can see we completed the commission in co-op mode. We got 120 companionship experience instead of the normal 60, just for being in co-op mode. Easy. Now these tower ones are really easy. You can literally just destroy the towers. No big deal. You don't actually have to kill the monsters to do these. Boom. Uh, another 120 experience there. Okay, another commission done. 120 companionship experience. Again, double experience because we are not doing, because we're in co-op and we're not in single player. Now this is the NPC commission for the day. And I believe the NPC commission actually gives less experience than your normal commission. I'll show that off here shortly. Now, normally a, um, a NPC commission doesn't look like this. This little purple symbol here doesn't look like this. It actually has like an exclamation mark in it normally. So this may actually not be a, a technically be an NPC commission. We'll see if we get less experience or not. Really stuff with Risley is really easy in the overworld. Uh, very, very easy. Just You just punch stuff until it dies. Get a little chilly. These, these shields are really annoying though, actually. Like... Dead ass, like really annoying. Yeah! Like seriously, the most annoying enemy in the game, hands down. I should be using Yalon to kill them, but Busted. can't dodge Yalon, right? Okay, there we go. Commission complete. Uh, okay, we got 120. Yeah, so that technically wasn't classified as an NPC commission, which is really nice. Uh, we get the full 120 experience. We normally get 80 if it's an NPC commission. Okay, now you can see up here in the top right, uh, we're done. 
Uh, we made it, guys. We made it. Uh, level 10. The name card is ours. Cryothesley Detention. Oh my god, I've been waiting my entire life for this. Literally. Uh, we are going to instantly change that name card. Like Beautiful. We already got Risley as our profile picture. Hands down, no question about it. Ah, oh, absolutely freaking amazing. Okay, now that we've done all four commissions, we're going to go over here to Catherine to claim our reward for completing all four commissions. Now, before we do this, we need to get out of co-op mode and we need to go back to single player. Now, the reason we have to do this is because if you try to talk to Catherine in co-op mode, you cannot talk to her. She is, as in most NPCs and most interactable objects are deactivated when you're in co-op mode, you cannot access them, but there is a trick to get around this. So what you're going to do, you go back to single player mode. Now you can see I can talk to Catherine. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to her. We do not claim this yet. What we want to do, we're going to join our world with our alt account. Our alt account is going to join our world while we are talking to Catherine. So I'm going to do that here. I'm actually using my phone here. I use my phone. I play on my computer and I'm using my phone. So I just request. I do this. Accept. It's really easy. If you have a computer and a phone, it makes it really easy. You can play um, an alt account on your phone while you're just chilling at home on your computer. Now that our alt is in the world with us and we are now technically getting co-op experience. Um, one thing to note, you want to make sure that if you're using your phone, that the phone has loaded the character in. You may see the character before the character has loaded in, actually loaded into your game. So you want to make sure on your phone, your alt account is actually loaded into your world. Because sometimes I've done this where you claim it and the alt character hasn't loaded into your world yet and you don't actually get the double experience. So normally you get 100 companionship EXP from doing this on your own in single player, but when you're in co-op mode, Thank you'll you see for completing we get 200 experience instead of 100. Boom, there it is. 200 companionship experience, double the normal amount. All right, commissions, 100% done. All right, so now we're going to leave co-op mode once again. Now we are gonna farm friendship experience through the 10 world quests you can do daily you get there's like these world quests that are scattered throughout the game that you can approach them and they'll kind of randomly spawn um they're in specific set locations but the one i really like to do is the one here in sumeru which involves killing some crocodiles so let's go bust some crocodile skulls all right, so this is the location for the one I like to do. We can trigger this world quest to appear over and over just by exiting the game and re-entering. So we are going to do that now. Before I even get started on that, um, I like to use Linny for this. You don't have to have Linny technically, but for me, Linny is kind of the goat for this, personally. Uh -oh. Um, he can shoot the crocodiles down, and there's like an auto target with Linny. So it makes it really, really easy. Uh, to do with Linny. Other characters, this can work. Some other characters I've used in the past. Ganyu, she doesn't auto-target, but her charge shot does have like a big area of effect. You can use Tainari. Tainari's really good at it. He has uh, charge shots after you use this E. Hone in on enemies, which is really, really nice. It makes things really, really easy. Yeah, any bow character that has a really powerful charge shot can do this. So what we do is we log out of the game log back in. Now this is super tedious, but I actually do this every single day if I have a character who's not friendship level 10 yet. Uh, but this does get very, very tedious. All right, after the game is reloaded, you can see the quest is there. Evil bears its fang, defeat all the crocodiles. Um, once my uh, once my game is loaded, I then bring my alt account in. I say, sure, alt, come join me today. Give me some double friendship experience. And then once my game is loaded, once the characters have loaded, I get my charge shot ready and I fire away. Now I basically just kind of shoot at this like hill over here. You can see the, the crocodiles in the distance. Lenny's auto target just makes it super easy. You can literally just shoot the ground. And then when the cat heads explode, they just auto target onto the crocodiles, which is really, really nice. Um, I did not pay attention to the friendship experience there, but we will log out and we'll do it one more time. And then I'll basically, after this, I'll just fast forward and show you um, 
the rest of the 10 times in a sped up. Uh, we'll do the, through the process of editing, we'll speed that up so you don't have to suffer with me doing this 10 times. You have to do this 10 times a day, which is really, really tedious. So here, we'll do it one more time. You can see once I log back in, the quest comes back, defeat all crocodiles. Really, really easy, really nice when everything just kind of works out there. Um, the quest just keeps coming back. There's a few other world quests in the game that kind of have this. Um, there's one in Leeway where you can feed some dogs, but that requires a lot of movement. You have to move back and forth between two specific points. I really just like this one here because you don't have to move at all. You just get your charge shot ready. You shoot off there into the distance. Uh, you can see the charge shot from the cats decoys there will just auto target onto the enemies it's really really nice do a couple shots boom they're dead you can see i got 30 companion ship experience the normal is 15 when you're in single player but you do get 30 when you are in co-op mode all right so i'm going to do this up to 10 times maximum we're just going to speed through this i'm going to use um through the power of editing we're just going to speed through this and we'll show you what happens uh when you get to the end okay so like i said earlier you can do this up to 10 times per day that gets you 300 companionship experience if you're in co-op mode now i'm not sure if this if i've done it 10 times or not i don't technically count i usually just end up doing it 11 times and then when i don't get the experience on the left side of the screen that means i know i'm basically done for the day like here okay i hadn't actually counted whether i did 10 that was just kind of on intuition i think i do this so much i kind of just feel it in my gut when i've done it 10 times but that was technically the 11th time i did it so you'll see on the left side of the screen up until now we've been getting the experience we've been getting mora we've been getting weapon crystal mats but because that was the 11th time we got nothing so nothing appeared on the left side of the screen now the next thing that we do is we basically do um, we farm friendship experience through domains. Uh, friendship experience through domains. If you do friendship with domains in co-op, you get bonus experience if, just for being in co-op. So this is fairly actually easy. If you want to, you don't really need an alt to do this. You can just match with random strangers if you just have one particular character that you want to farm. But what I do is I do bring my alt in. I have them come into my world here. We do runs until we run out of uh, resin for the day. And me as a whale, I do max resin refreshes every day. So this definitely helps me get my characters to friendship level 10 quicker than the average person. Now, I like to use Risley and Yelon. Uh, I think they go really, really well together. We're only friendship farming for, for Risley up until this point, technically. But Yelon is really good for this because she can just run up the hills. We have a really strong Yelon, so that makes it really, really easy. Uh, basically, we can just do her burst. And then we just go ham on everybody with our C6R5 Risley. Now, you may not be able to do this in the way that I do this. Um, you can see, like... For me, it's a lot easier because my characters are so powerful. I have a lot of constellations. I have a lot of good artifacts. Um, so for me, it's like really, really easy. And then at the end, I always try to farm some energy for Yelon towards the end there. So, but if you have trouble doing this with your characters, someone like Zhang Li really helps because it may take you a little bit longer, but you can use Zhang Li's shield to really just protect yourself from getting brutalized. Um, so if I had needed to use Zhang Li and Risley there, that probably would have been the safest play. Either that or somebody who heals you really well. If you have Kokomi to freeze and heal, that works out really well. Um, if you're an average player, you might just have to do random co-op matches. Let's see if we got anything good here. Ooh, Animo. Dendro no crit, of course. Uh, attack percent circlet there. So yeah, I just do this over and over again until I run out of resin. The nice thing for me is you don't have to use, your alt account doesn't have to come in and help you fight. If you're using an alt account, uh, like for me, I just rush right in. My alt is left at the entrance. Uh, I still get the double companion ship experience uh, just doing that. So as you can see, the rotation here, I've kind of got it down to a fine art. I just make sure as long as Yelan has her first before i um start this fight i mean we just like we we basically crush it right and then again i just i try to farm some particles with elon towards the end of the fight 
maybe do a shot or two here. Uh, if I have to, like, burst with Risley, it's totally fine. Um, Not bad. <laughs> we get we get kicked a couple times. It's all it's all good. Risley self sustains really well, so for for Risley it was really really easy. Um, if you have someone like Nouvellet too, that can really help because Nouvellet is really powerful and really self sustaining. So fortunately, his banner is gone. But if you happen to have Nouvellet, Nouvellet works really well for this as well because he can just like carry the fight on his own. Even if you have a low constellation Nouvellet, I mean he's like perfect for this kind of thing. So. Oh, baby. Oh, we should level this up right now. That's really good. We get crit damage on that? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's just randomly get a little bit of element or a little uh little bit of artifact leveling here. If we get crit damage, oh my god, we are in we are in it to win it if we get crit damage. Please. Oh, defense. Ain't it ain't it ain't it the way the way of the artifact. Oh man, crit damage really would have carried that. You really need crit damage on all your Mara Sussy uh, artifacts. You can't, you can't not have crit damage on every single piece. So, so the last thing here is in the teapot. Obviously, you want to set your character in the teapot so that you're getting friendship experience as much as possible. You want to make sure you're level ten because that gets you the most amount of passive friendship experience that you can get so you want to make sure your your level for the teapot is level 10 and then obviously yeah you just click on this chest you need you don't need to do this every day but you need to do it at least every few days because it takes about four to five days for this to fill up when you're at level 10 so the only way you're losing friendship experience is if this is max and you're not getting um you're not passively accruing uh, experience anymore but you can literally just do this every few days i do it every day because i check my teapot every day it's just it's just the way i have to do it to make sure that i don't forget about it but every day i do check my teapot for that so but you can see my risley is already maxed uh, i will show a clip here of when i first wished for risley the first thing i did was i went to the teapot and i had a full um that that little gauge was full so i immediately went up from level zero, like the beginning of level one, to halfway to level two instantly, which is a really, really nice way um, to power farm for your characters. And that's what I'll end up doing for Fiorina and Charlotte here. I'll let that I'll let that meter build up. And then the first day that they come out, I'll instantly get them halfway from level one to level two. Uh, and I'll show a clip of that here. Boom! He's still level one, but that's okay, chat. He's still level one, but that's okay. It's it's copium, but it's fine. Any... It's copium, but it's fine. Uh, what does that do? It's like halfway to level two. It's halfway to level two. It's a good start. It's a good start, chat. It's a good start. It's a good start. We got to get that name card as soon as possible. We have to get the name card as soon as possible. So yeah, guys, those are the four methods I use to quickly farm friendship experience, hyper farm for one specific character. And that's how I basically gotten all of my characters to friendship level 10. Uh, to get all your characters to friendship level 10, that might take a lot of resin refreshes. So you may not be able to do that unless you're a whale, but you can hyper farm for your favorite characters. So if you have a specific character or two specific characters that you really, really love, you want to get them to friendship 10 immediately. This is something you can do to hyper farm those that one or two uh, characters and get them to friendship level 10 as quickly as possible. Uh, really quick, I want to show you the math behind this as well. Um, this is the Genshin Wiki right here, and this basically covers everything concerning friendship level experience. Um, we'll do some of the math here, but you can see here, these right here, these are all the methods on how you can raise friendship experience. So the math on that basically is every day you do four daily commissions, 120 each gives you 480 friendship total, and then you get your bonus, which is 200 friendship experience so from commissions you get 680 daily from commissions teapot you get five per hour so that gives you 120 per day from the teapot random events if you do 10 per day you get 30 each which brings you to 300 total and then you have your resin spending which is really going to come down to whether you're free to play or you are a whale and you're spending on resin refreshes Basically, every point of resin per day that you spend gets you one friendship experience for a character in the game. 
Uh, you're going to double that if you're in co-op mode, though. So you get two points of friendship, companionship experience for every co-op domain that you run or every every time you spend resin in a co-op specific way. So for me as a whale, um, I get 1,080 companionship experience a day by resin refreshing and spending all of my resin uh, per day. Uh, if you add that all together, we have 1,080 that I just said from spending resin as a whale. Um, you have 120 from the teapot. If 680 from commissions and you have 300 from the world quest um, random events. So for me as a whale and using the methods that I've been using above, uh, I get 2,180 companionship friendship a day. Now you can look below at this chart. So you can see from level one to level 10, it takes 29,100 experience. So if we divide that by the... 2180 that I get per day as a whale, uh, you can see it takes me 13.3 days, from 13 to 14 days to get a character from level one to friendship level 10. And I can actually do two characters at a time instead of one character. A little bit trickier, but that is possible with Fiorina and Charlotte. I'll probably try to make sure that I have both of them on the team at the same time when I'm doing like domains and stuff. That's the best way to get them both leveled up simultaneously uh, but you can see it takes 14 days basically to get any specific character from level one to level 10 friendship if you are a whale using all of your resin refreshes and you are using all of the tips and tricks that i showed you in this video today all right guys i hope this has been super fun i hope this has been super informative for you um, i'd like to do videos like this so if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future please let me know down below in the comments if there's anything i missed if there's anything you have questions about i am here for you um, i hope to see you guys in the next one